through that that part, that last drive, where you guys were able to just deal with the boys and the, and the patience that you displayed in getting that touchdown and finishing that drive? Yeah, I thought we ran the ball really well on that drive, and we'd been running the ball uh, well all night. Um, but to especially put it behind those guys, give Eck the ball, let him go get some first downs, um, I thought that was big for us. What does a win like this mean for you guys? Um, I think it's huge because, you know, we bounced back after a big win against Kansas City last week. Um, but, you know, it's always about the next week. It's always about the next opportunity. And, uh, you know, we, we play an incredible Browns team next week, and, and it's all about them. And so we're going to enjoy this one for a little bit, but uh, show up to work tomorrow and get watching the film. Justin, what does it mean that your coach trusts you all in those fourth down situations, stuff like that? Do you feel like he's trying to instill an aggressive nature in you guys? It's awesome that he believes in us because everyone in the huddle believes in each other too. And um, whenever we get into one of those situations, we know that we've got the right play. We know that the, we've got the right guys. We just have to go out there and execute. And uh, Jared made some big plays on those fourth downs. And uh, without him, you know, maybe we don't make those plays. But uh, it was huge to see from him. Justin, yeah, just going back to the, the running game. Just how much pressure does it take off of you to finally get that going? And obviously we talked about how you guys felt like it was close. But just how much pressure does that take off of you when, you when you can run the ball the way you guys did tonight? Yeah, we really believe in those guys up front. Uh, you know, O'Day, Corey, Matt, Rashawn, and uh, Storm, they, they, did, they did a great job today. And, uh, you know, whenever you got a, a guy like Eck in the backfield, Larry Roundtree and Justin Jackson, you got to find ways to get them the ball. And um, I thought Eck did a great job uh, catching passes too, and so did JJ. And uh, those guys just change our offense, so it's, it's great to see from them. The way, your defense, the way your defense played tonight, especially in the first half, three and out, three and out, do you feed off that? I think it's huge, uh, you know, because football is a three-phase game. Um, and as well as they were playing, you know, our offense, we need to take advantage of a great field position, those, those three and outs. And, um, you know, I thought they did an incredible job holding an incredible offense uh, to few amounts of yards in the first half. And uh, defense played great and got us the ball back. So uh, it's up to us to go down and score now. I know it's early, Justin, but you're 2-0 and in the division. You're tied on top of the division of a very good division. What do you like about this team? I love that we take it week by week. Uh, you know, I really believe in the guys in this locker room, um, but it's all about each week of preparation. You never look too far ahead, and you never look back. Um, you can't let Dallas beat you again, and you can't let the Chiefs win. You can't let that hold you back. So it's all about this next week of preparation, and I know guys um, in that locker room attack every week like it's nothing. So it's, it's awesome. Justin, do you feel like this game – meant more because last year you guys blew multiple uh, big time leads. Today, you, it, it, it felt like the momentum was shifting, but then you guys were able to keep calm and, and score that game winning or game saving touchdown. Do you feel like times have kind of changed for you guys? Yeah, that's that's one of those games that you know we might not have won last year, uh, but it's great to see from the defense going out there and, and holding them down, and uh, the offense going down and scoring. And uh, you know, it's it's great when you can leave the game at a two possession, two score possession. Um, so I thought it was big for us to go down and score, and uh, defense played well all night. So uh, huge props to them. Your tight end said. At what point did you know you were going to get that matchup on fourth and two in midfield? Um, it, that's just one of those tempo plays that we kind of go unbalanced and uh, trying to just get up on the ball quickly and, and see what the defense is in. And uh, thankfully, we, we got the look that we wanted to. And Jared ran a great route, got upfield, and uh, con converted the fourth down. In, in that situation where you have such a mismatch in size in terms of ball placement, where are you trying to put it on that? Is it more just a float sort of a jump ball, or are you trying to have specific placement? Uh, yes, just so he can turn it up and go. And, and I, th I think the fourth and two one that you're talking about on the flat, yeah, uh, just give him a ball that he can catch, turn up, and get two yards. And um, it doesn't have to be a pretty ball, pretty ball by any means, but uh, something that he can catch and something he can turn up and, and run with. Because it's a big moment in the game there where, you know, obviously they've scored back-to-back -back touchdowns, one-score game. You don't get it. They're midfield. Um, you like those moments? Yeah, I believe in those guys. Yeah, uh, especially in uh, Coach Sayu believes in us, and, and I believe in this offense. And uh, when you got guys like Mike Williams, Keenan, uh, Jared Cook, they're going to make plays, and you have to find them, find ways to get them the ball. And, and I thought we did a great job of that tonight. Listen, you guys have scored n nine touchdowns in your last ten red zone trips. Something that you know was a bit of a struggle the first two weeks. It's changed over these last two weeks. What do you feel like has allowed you guys to improve in the red zone? I think an emphasis on it. Each week, going into each week, and knowing that you know we got to put up points in the red zone. We can't leave with field goals. Uh, field goals are great, but uh, points are better. And uh, you know I think we've got too many weapons to not score in the red zone. And uh, kind of like I said earlier, getting those guys the ball, getting Mike Williams, Keenan, Jared Cook, all those guys involved, because they really uh, expand our offense.
when, you, when Austin ran that wheel route, did you did you know that was going to be a man coverage on a linebacker there? Did you see that pre-snap? Yeah, that's just one of those plays that you, you have to feel out, and uh, depending on where the linebacker attacks his leverage, uh, you you find a play to Eck, and um, you know Eck is su such a great receiving back out of the backfield, and uh, I feel like we've always got a mismatch with him. So uh, find ways to get him the ball, and he makes a great catch. Um, so it's it's good to see from him. Jared said, Jared said it was kind of tough to hear in the huddle. What was it like for you, you know, trying to silence the uh, crowd, being that you know there were so many Raiders fans? I think it's just the way we want it. You know, we're so thankful for the Chargers fans that showed up. Um, but, you know, it's, I think it's a great opportunity to go out there and play a, a really good football team. And, um, you know, on third down, I thought we executed well. Um, you know, we left a couple out there, but uh, a lot of film to watch and a lot of, get, a lot of stuff to get better from. Justin, what's the uh, importance of getting out of the gate so quickly for your team? Yeah, I think as well as the defense played early on, we need to take advantage of that. And when we get good field position, we need to be able to score. We need to be able to push the ball downfield. Um, you know, I thought we did a great job getting going um, in the second half. You know, we need to do a better job, um, but uh, the defense stepped up big time today. Does it, does it help to push your helmet against your ears? Uh, it's covering your ears so you can hear the, the microphone in your helmet. So it does help? Yes. Going back to those fourth down situations, like, oh, forgive me, I'm drawing again. Um, I've been right there before. Thanks, man. Um, but, like when when you're in those moments, um, like sorry, you're playing for a data driven head coach. So I guess like for you as a player, is it more about the confidence? Like like as a head coach, is he kind of feeling out your guys' confidence as a team, or is it more so him relying on the data? in order to figure out like, what you guys are going to go for. That's a good question. I think it's a little bit of both. You know, I, I think he believes in our offense just like we believe in each other. Um, but I think being aggressive and, and using some of the data to, you know, kind of take it to our advantage. Um, you know, I think the best of both worlds, and I think Coach Staley's done a great job um, communicating with that with us. And so we've got a good feel for it. And when we're out there, you know, we, we feel comfortable. We know that we've got the right personnel out there, so we just have to execute. He's almost good. Upset is too strong a word. But if he doesn't go for it on fourth and two, <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to look at it um you know i'm just thankful that he believes in us like we believe in each other um and so those opportunities uh until we we don't start converting them um i think that's when the issues start coming up i think with the talent that we have you know i really believe in those guys and um as well as we distribute the ball around the field um i think we've always got matchups that we like um so taking advantage of those fourth and shorts that um, you know, obviously we have to be smart about field position, but uh, you know, I think it's great to be aggressive. What were your emotions like when you saw Derwin intercept that pass? I thought it was huge. It's it's great to have him back, and, and he's been playing so well. And we definitely missed him last year. And he's he's one of those vocal leaders that has stepped up for the defense. And um, you know, I'm such a big fan of him because he makes us better even when we practice. And and all of fall camp, he made us better. So uh, it's just great to see him out there again. You didn't get to see him last year. Are you more impressed with him now, getting to see him in four games this season? Well, I was really impressed with him last year, um, but uh, you know, it's, it's probably fair to say I'm even more impressed this year. You know, he's just such a d dynamic player, and uh, the way Coach Staley moves him around on defense, uh, he's able to do so much, and he really is uh, one of the smartest players I've ever been around. So it's really impressive. Justin, just going back to last week against the Chiefs, they scored 17 unanswered. You guys came back with that touchdown drive tonight. 14 unanswered points. You guys come back with a touchdown drive. What is allowing the offense to be as resilient as you guys have been? I think it's belief. Um, looking at each other in the huddle and, and knowing that we've got the right guys out there and, and knowing the situation and, and understanding that we've got the right guys, we've, we've got the right play calls, we know, we know what we're doing, uh, we just need to execute. And um, All those drills, all those four-minute drills, two-minute drills that we do during practice, during the week, it shows up in game time. And um, that's the toughest part of the week is, is practicing and going through that grind of watching film and doing all that so that when you go out there on Sunday, you, you, you play free. Just what was your reaction to the weather delay? Were you surprised? Um, I was a little surprised, um, but I thought our team did a great job of not letting it limit our distractions, and, and we kept focus. And um, the entire time we were in the, the locker room, we were focused and dialed in and uh, ready to get back out there. Was there a talk about why is there a weather delay in a dome stadium? <laughs> uh, there were some questions as to why, but uh, thankfully we had people come in there and, and educate us on that, on those. Um, so it was, it was great to hear.